Hello, and welcome to Sarah's Sugar Shack. Uh, this is the Let's Play of Tales of Vesperia, the Definitive Edition. Um, we're on video five now, I believe. Um, last video, uh, we were um, healing up the Tree of Lure, and now we are headed off to uh, the city of Aspio. Um, so we're going to get going. Um, I had another fun adventure. You'll notice that the total playtime is only at an hour and a half um, when there's been much more than an hour and a half of video uh, recorded. Um, once again, uh, when I was playing last night, I saved over this save file. So for the second time from the start, I uh, got us back to where we were. I've got all the characters. They're all at level 12 now. Um, ooh, I think when I'd saved over, only Yuri and Estelle were at level 12 at that point. Um, I once again got the recipe for a uh, rice ball. Uh, we've got that set. Uh, Estelle has mastered sandwich in my grinding in your absence. Um, and oh, that reminds me. I better double check and make sure I've put it back to normal. Yes. Okay. So let's. <laughs> Let's fight this axe beak, uh, and then we'll get in the city. Um, this is a pretty neat city. Um, I mean, you don't really get to see a lot of it as per uh, classic tales. Um, but it is home to one of my favorite characters, so I am very, very excited for this spot of the game. It looks like this is Ospio. Mm -hmm. It's so gloomy and damp here. It's giving me the chills, too. It's because the city is in a cavern. I wonder if the oh, lack of sun drives the so people cool. here to do shady things, like stealing Blastia cores. <laughs> I would love to live in a city that was built into a big cavern. May I see your passport, please? Our passport? <laughs> this is an Imperial facility. We can't just let anyone inside, can we? Passport? You don't have one of those, do you? <laughs> Why would we? An associate of ours is inside. Could you please let us through? If you filled out the official visitation paperwork, then you ought to have gotten your passport from this associate of yours. <laughs> This is the first we've heard, though. If you want to let us in, perhaps you could call him to the gate for us? What's your associate's name? Mordio. M mordio <laughs> We can't help you. You'll need to mail in a request and have a passport officially issued to you. Damn. Don't budge an inch, do you? <laughs> Excuse me. But did a knight by the name of Flynn happen to stop by here? All information about the establishment is classified. We cannot share even small details with outsiders. So you can't even tell me why Flynn was here? No, of course not. <laughs> so what you're saying is that Flynn really did come here. You've been tricked. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. A knight named Flynn? Never heard of him. Could we at least leave him a message? Give it up, Estelis. We'd have more luck asking a brick wall for help. <laughs> Let's just go. But Flynn's inside. What? We're just gonna give up? Just like I'm that? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to see Flynn. And I'm gonna take back that Blastia from that thief Mordio and give him a beating he won't forget. <laughs> so can't we look for another way in? Of course we can. Let's take a stroll around, why don't we? As a last resort, maybe we could go over the walls. Probably not, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to dream, Yuri. So we'll just head off over to the right here. Oh my, what could this be? Kiki, ki, ki. ah, ha, 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 ha. At last, someone found me. I've been waiting. I'm Wonder Chef, 
I travel the world far and wide seeking gourmet food and travelers that appreciate the importance of fine dining. You'll usually find me in disguise. A food connoisseur should have no problem seeing through it, though. Call it a test, if you will. Well, I'd say anyone with a brain should be able to see through it, but... And it seems like you're one of them. Hee <laughs> hee, you've got potential. For that, I'm going to re reward you with a recipe. Salisbury steak. And then we get three sets of ingredients. So there is two ways to um, get recipes, of course, uh, from the Wonder Chef. In pretty much every town, um, you'll find a weird object that just quite clearly doesn't belong. Doors like this never open when you want them to. <laughs> Usually the point of them. I guess we'll have to climb over the wall and open it from the inside. <laughs> A little quick to jump to our last resort, aren't you? Hmm. Let's wait for Flynn to come out then. Even if Flynn comes out, it's not like he's gonna bring Mordio out with him. Yeah, we've got bigger fish to fry here, lady. Well, if Flynn comes outside, we can just ask him to let us in, can't we? Hmm. He'd never go for a plan like this. He's far too much of a goody-goody. <laughs> Carol, what are you doing? There! It's open! Huh? You can't do that! Well, he just did. Your guild specializes in hunting monsters, right? Or are you guys into thieves' guild type stuff too? <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm pretty much the only one who can do anything like this. Well, good job. What Shall is he we? looking at? No, that's bad. We should just wait here for Flynn. Speaking of goody goodies. I don't have the patience to wait for Flynn to just happen to walk out of this town by chance. It was unquestioning obedience to laws and authority in times like this that made me quit the Imperial Knights in the first place. Mm -hmm. But, but... Well then, Estelle, keep a lookout here for us, won't you? Wait, but, but, um... I'm going with you. Man, there are a lot of Mordio lookalikes here, aren't there? Excuse me, do you have a minute? Well, what do you want? Would you happen to know if a knight named Flynn Shifo has come through here? Flynn? Oh, that guy. He was saying something about going to catch someone who'd been vandalizing ruins. Where is he now? I couldn't say. My research keeps me too busy to pay attention to things like that. I... I see. I'm sorry to interrupt you. You better be. I'll be taking my leave then. Hey, wait up. Tell me one more thing. Is there a famed mage named Mordio around here? Yeah, there are people who want to see that weirdo. <laughs> so I was right. You know Mordio? Mm-hmm. No, uh, I don't know anything at all. I don't associate with people like that. Hey, I'm not done yet. <laughs> what? What is it? Tell me where the mage is. Mordio lives alone in a shack back that way. Go and see for yourself if you want. Very descriptive of where to find somebody in a town. Thanks. Luckily for us, there really is only one shack that's over that way. Are so. you sure about this? Hmm? Everyone seems to get all out of sorts just from hearing that guy's name. It's weird. Yeah. Doesn't it bother you? Well, he's a blast, you thief. It's no wonder people don't like him. You know, Yuri, your attitude, your behavior, they don't seem very nightly. Where'd that come from? I mean, we're entering the city through a back entrance, like thieves. This coming from the guy who picked the lock. I'm just tagging along to find Flynn, and now you've turned me into a thief. We haven't stolen anything. Sheesh. Sorry about that, guys. I was having a little bit of a coughing fit uh, so you didn't get to hear my witty commentary uh, during the last few scenes but let's just go up here we're gonna save first gotta save at every save point saving in the right file i've developed a system that will hopefully prevent um, this from happening again because if i have to run through the first hour and a bit of this game again i'm probably gonna shoot myself in the head and i really would like to um 
continue filming this. So let's check out what she's got to, to sell here. Buy some orange shells. Beautiful. Oh, I don't think I have a wood mall. And circlets. Oh, half guard would be nice. Oh, we definitely gotta get some more food though. We're not gonna have enough money. Food is oh just so expensive. I'm so used to having just millions and millions of dollars in this game. Um but that's okay. Let's just uh get everybody equipped here with some better stuff. Oh yeah, I've got the wood mall plus one, so glad I didn't buy that. Let's see if I can sell anything good. Not a lot, but that's okay. Uh, should find. There we go. And what are we looking at? We're doing pretty good. We're not getting a scene for staying right now, so we'll just be on our way to find the infamous Mordio. And right now there really is literally nothing for us to do but talk to Rita. Down here we've got the exit. Oh, but we do have a scene. This city sure has a lot of books. I would I'm hope so. I'm not really so. too crazy about reading and I have a hard time sleeping in this place. Yeah. You seem like you're too jittery to sit still and look at something for too long. You're one to talk. Hey, what happened to Estelle? She's been over there reading books ever since we got here. Hmm. Estelle, time to get going. Hmm. Once she starts reading, you can't pull her away. Huh? Did you say something? This seems to be literature from an ancient civilization. She's not even listening. Well, I mean, all she had to do all day was sit in her pretty castle and read. So really, what can... Of course she's going to love books. Okay. Keep out. Seriously. Mordio. Hmm. Well, I guess we know what we're going to do. this is the place. I think people usually try knocking first. He just knocked. Looks like no one's home. No point in hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves. No, I don't want us to commit any more crimes. I guess that means it's my turn then. What? Your Wait. turn? But you lock pick what? We shouldn't do that either. I, I feel like picking it. the lock is an equal crime to breaking down the door, but Wait for me! Please, wait! Why does he always do that? Very interesting house. This is crazy! Who could live in a place like this? <laughs> you can pretty much live anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. Yep. Yuri, don't you have something to say first? Uh, hello? We're coming in. And the door? Carol here, open your door. <laughs> Sorry about that. Honestly, Yuri. Excuse us. Is anyone home? It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence. Excellent. So we can just stroll around here. We're gonna check out this pile of stuff first. Oh, check this out. It's a Blastia model. Hmm, whoever made this was pretty talented. It's a model of a Grand Blastia. It's not working though, how she can tell that from over there. Grand Blastia. Grand Blastia refers to especially large types of Blastia, including but not limited to Barrier Blastia. Barrier Blastia. Read that in the book too? Oh, it doesn't count if Yuri says it. It's okay, I think we only got one drink last, uh, so... Clearly she doesn't say it quite as often as I thought. 
Just because someone studies hard, that doesn't mean that their actions are right or just. Hey, the cover's about to fall off this one. Treat books with respect. Priceless information is written on their pages. Okay, and lastly, what do we got over here? Bless the form formula. Estelle will not step inside if she's had enough crimes for the day. Ooh. A fine of up to 10,000 gold. Although, if you think about it, if a grain of rice or a serving of rice costs 100 gold, I mean, really, that 10,000 gold is really 100 bucks? But a year in prison, nah, not so much. Although, their prisons seem a lot nicer than uh, the prisons here. Uh, Estelle, do you know what this formula means? It resembles a magic circle that uses fire. But at least you understand it a little bit. It means nothing at all to me. Okay, and now we'll just check over here. Ah! Oh, 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 what is that? That's a mordio. Oh, shut up. Huh? Hey, hold on! Oh, you could have been. Gone like 80 times by now, buddy. Thieves? No, what are you? Wait! Be gone! Help! <coughs> uh, why me? A girl? If you can pull tricks like that, why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafius? Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? For stealing the core of Ablastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief? <laughs> Had sure. Itchy trigger finger again. So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. What the hell kind of sense is that? She's got you there. Hey, dog! You stay back, you... you dog! And you, kid! Give him back. What do you mean? The Blastia, the Blastia, give him back to me. What's with <laughs> you? <laughs> My name is Esteliz. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri, Carol, you too. Sorry. So, <laughs> what do you want? Not getting it from Yuri. Well, you see. Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? And that Blastia thief wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. So? Mm -hmm. They also had a mustache. Well, but... Mordio is certainly my name. Rita Mordio, to be exact. And the height matches up, too. Spoiler alert. She's our new party member. What do you have to say for yourself? I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Follow me. What? Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. We're not finished here. <laughs> Just follow me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shikos ruins. Thieves? Are you sure about that? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for help. It should be trustworthy. Do you think that knight might have been Flynn? It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. Hey, remember what that guy outside said about someone vandalizing the ruins? Yeah. Which means the thief who stole the Blastia core could be there. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. Finished chatting? Let's go. All right, but don't even think of making a break for it. Huh. You don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. Pick one. 
Mm, well, personally, I'd okay, probably okay. read it, but... We'll go with you. The Shikos ruins are even further to the east, once you leave the city. We've walked past them already. Woo! Okay. So, I will say I did, um, cheat a bit. My husband says it's not cheating, but... Uh, um, I did use the pack of useful stuff. So, now I have, um... Uh, the special flag so I can pick um, uh, who gets to be the leader of the party like who's seen as the leader um, it gave me the moon selector so now I can change um, uh, characters um, like in the midst of battle uh, which is really handy coming up for um, a secret mission coming down the road. I believe it's secret mission number five, but I could be wrong. Um, where, like, you need a specific character to do something, and I hate playing as that character. So it's very nice to have the uh, moon selector. Uh, we'll check out Rita's outfits. Um, so this is one of my favorites, uh, the cat girl waitress, um, that you get, um, well, it's from the 360 for completing the waitress uh, side quest. Uh, the seeker one, really uh, neat looking too. Fashionistas, yeah, not that great. Uh, the exchange student one's okay. Uh, Marine's captain is, I mean, it's kind of cute, but it's just so unrita that I can't handle having her in it. Uh, 765 trainee by far the worst uh, I like it's so bad I can't even put her in it uh, and then there's elemental master which is pretty cool looking um, but we're gonna put her in the uh, seeker one for now I think um, I do like having the sacred rope on her um, it's one thing I've noticed in this that I don't remember in the um, 360 version is when you put the title costumes on them, you can't put really any attachments on them. Oh, I guess I lied. I can put the devil outfit on, but I can't put the sacred robe on her. Anyways, um, stick with the devil outfit then. Okay. Uh, and then I don't have anybody else in costumes right now, but that's Rita's okay. a little scary, huh? Really? She's very scary. She's about what I'd expect. Seems like she's in a crappy mood, too. That's because you broke into her house, Yuri. I don't exactly feel like being on my best behavior when I'm dealing with a core thief. What will you do if you're wrong about her? If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. You'd better remember that when the time comes. <laughs> oh, were you listening? Of course she's listening. You're here. all walking together so in, like, a party. So you think I'm scary, do you? Watch it, Carol. She's definitely the kind to hold a grudge. <laughs> yeah. Hey! D don't scare me like that! I did forget to um, actually switch these guys, and I think I will have Rita to be the leader, and I should check out her arts. Don't need that. Perfect. Fireball. It saddens me to see the usage at zero, but we'll get that up really quickly. Um, the more you use it, the more fireballs fire. So at, I believe, 200 uses. You get two fireballs, 300 you get three, uh, 500 you get four. Um, I think on the 360 I had it up to like 10 fireballs. Um, it's really good. I love fireball. Even in the end game, even though it's like one of the first spells you get, I still um, use it all the time. I love it. Uh, perfect. We've got some little mini scenes. Yuri snooping through her stuff, finds the collector's book. Um, the collector's book was also something that was in the um, pack of useful stuff. Um, so, I mean, that one really didn't matter because you get that right away. Technically, I think we could synthesize the special flag right now, too, but the moon selector is a little bit harder to get. And uh, that's really why I took the pack of useful stuff, because I wanted to make sure I had that um, for some particular fights. Um, before I get that scene, or er, skit, I'm just going to watch this scene. Um, 
so now Yuri is going through her drawers, uh, and Estelle's giving him shit. The girl's dresser is strictly off limits, even if it's full of evidence of her own misdeeds. I'll be the one to look. Wait, what are you? <laughs> oh my god, I can't even imagine. Like, I mean, it is Estelle and Rita, so, I mean, it could just be a thong for all we know, but then you've got to wonder, like, was it a dildo? Was it, like, super racy lingerie? Um, oh, who knows? Feminine secrets. <laughs> it could just have been her box of tampons, like... <laughs> Your name is Estelise, right? Yes, but that's kind of long to say easily. Please call me Estelle. You look like some fancy noble Estelise. Why are you with that jerk? Oh, I think that Yuri is a good person. Mm, and really, I person. don't mind if you call me Estelle. All right, Estelise. She's tough. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love her. And thankfully, that scene brought us, um, the scene upstairs brought us downstairs, so we can head off. Uh, now we can actually go through the front door. Oh, before we head out, um, we will check Rita's skills. Uh, she has rhythm. Uh, I apologize. I really hope you guys can't hear the mashing on the mic. Um, but if you t keep like mashing on X, then she casts the spell a lot quicker, which is really good. Uh, it makes a pretty big difference, especially if you get overleveled and the battles are ending quicker. Okay, so we've got to get in a fight. We have to because we've got Rita. begins the never-ending um, grinding for uh, using fireball. Um, we probably will, after two more fights, I might head back to the Adventurer's Lodge. We won't get a new scene, but it'll be good to get our health back. Oop! Keep forgetting I'm not Yuri. I don't want to go running in there and mash up this uh, wolf. I want to be far, far away. Oh. Who do I have making sense? Shit. Pardon my language. I actually want Rita to be making sandwich now. Uh, Salisbury steak, however, that will be a step. These are one of my favorite enemies to fight. They're so easy. And, uh, I mean, considering it's just one enemy, they give a, like, a fairly decent amount of experience, so. Uh, one thing I think I mentioned in my other video, or maybe video number two, uh, I will confirm it again. Yeah, you don't get a lick of grade at all for fighting on easy. Um, some guides recommend fighting on... Uh, easy on some of the bosses, especially in not this dungeon, but the next one coming up. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, you're costing yourself at least 20 grade there pretty much, so... Um, I don't know. I guess it depends on how hard we find the battle, but uh, normally I like to grind enough anyways, so that I'm... It's not really an issue. Oh, I can't cook anything. Okay, we'll fight one more guy, where I hopefully won't run headlong into the battle. 
And eventually we get um, a really nice, really nice skill uh, where we can, uh, if you guard, you will uh, can resume your spell casting. here and just double check. Mm -hmm. I always stay here and I always hope for a scene and never really get it when I want it. Oh, but that's okay. Oh my, that's a lot of rhinoceros. And we only get to fight one. <laughs> so, I think what we'll do is um, we'll go in uh, and get the opening scene, assuming I can get over here without having to fight too many things. Um, uh, at the dungeon, and then I will uh, come back out and save, because uh, we're kind of at an awkward spot right now. Um, not quite enough time to complete the dungeon, but uh, it is still kind of a shortish video, but that's okay. Are the Shikos ruins? They are ruins. Lots of treasure chests. It looks like there aren't any Imperial Knights around. Oh, were you expecting Flynn to just be hanging out at the front entrance waiting for you? These footprints are still fresh. There's a lot of them, too! Mm -hmm. Which means it's either the knights, the thieves, or both. Some of these footprints must be Flynn's. Could be. Hey, over here! Hurry up! I see. So first, you get us alone in the dark, then you zap us, huh? Hmm. Zap. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why are you smiling like that? She's Let's try to get along evil. now, okay? Okay. Um, we'll uh, run and get some treasure chests because I don't think there are any enemies to fight here. Ooh, money, 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 money. never have too many life bottles and when you do they sell for a really good price oh we don't want to go there because that will trigger another scene oh a half guard i'm so glad i just bought that well Lesson learned, I have to remember, classic Tales games, you do get a lot of the stuff that you can buy in the dungeon. Uh, so it's always a risk if you decide to um, purchase um, equipment and stuff for a dungeon. Oh, that's okay, it was worth the risk in my opinion. Okay. 
Perfect. Well, we'll head out then. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. Um, and then the next video, we can do this dungeon. And uh, as well, we'll probably be able to go a little bit further from that. Thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you again soon. Have a great night.